I've shown in the unwrap trim video, how you can simply cut out a face, and unwrap it to a certain trim. And while there is nothing wrong with doing it like this, there is a faster, and more flexible way. In decal machine, all trims exist as decals too. And so in object mode, you can bring in a trim decal into the scene. Scale and position it where you want, even on curved surfaces, and then just run the trim cut tool. The tool will cut the trim into the mesh, exactly where you have placed the decal. Also, notice how decals are automatically matched to trim sheet materials, just as they would be matched to simple PBR materials too. I want to emphasize that this only works for trim sheets that don't have a color, roughness or metalness map. This material created from the metal sheet has those texture types. And so decal materials can't match it. Just something to be aware of. Back to trim cut now. Depending on where you make your cuts, you may introduce some shading issues, like these here. So it's a good idea to come prepared. If you use mesh machine, I'd recommend you stash your object, especially ones with curved surfaces, before you start adding trims. You can then fix the normals easily. And even if you don't stash the undisturbed model in advance, you can still easily create a duplicate, remove the trims and stash that. Now, you may want to place trims directly on existing edges. And, I've got a tool for that. Place your trim decal roughly where you want it. Make sure both objects are selected, then go into edge mode, and select the two edges you want to use for the alignment. Then choose, Align to Edge, from the Pi menu. Or, press D and T in sequence. The decal will be aligned, and you can immediately call Trim Cut from the Object Mode Pi now. And you can also just press D and T in sequence again. The cut will be exactly on the edge now. Note that you can be super lazy with how you position your trim decal. The Align tool will rotate, and snap, the decal to the edge. And again, I just press D and T, two times in a row. It's not a bad idea to manually add triangulation to your mesh in tricky areas like this, especially if you intend to export this to Unreal or Unity. Normally, if you cut a trim decal into its parent object, the decal will be removed. If however, you want to avoid that, you can run the tool with the Alt key pressed, and the decal will only be hidden. Finally, there are two potential issues you should be aware of.
first, if you try to trim cut something, and the decal vanishes even though nothing has been cut, the reason will be that the cut was made somewhere else. In this case, on the other side of the gate. That's because when the cut is made, Blender basically looks down on the decal in orthographic mode. And if I replicate this now, you can see how the other side of the gate occludes the decal, and as a result is getting cut, instead. The second potential issue is the following. If you add a trim decal, and move it over to another parent object, but don't reapply it, then the original object will still be its parent. And so trim cut assumes, this is the object you want to cut. As a result, nothing happens. Selecting the new parent object doesn't work either. So instead, you have to unparent the decal, or better, just run the reapply tool. To conclude, trims that have been cut into the mesh, can of course always easily be removed again using the unwrapped empty trim tool.